Hi there, I'm Andrew. Welcome back to Andrew Channel International. Today we play some more Sid Meier's Civilization 6 and we are going to expand our borders, hopefully. That's my goal. Uh, I am not sure if I want to keep this production here because actually I need to expand my borders also with a monument. Here we are doing a builder. Not bad. Here we are doing an archer. Here we are doing an archer. That's why. That's what we are doing. Fine. Let's move to the recorded history and click next turn. We are going to uh, settle down a coastal city. I like it, but without this... Not really. Alright then, let's do this. Open border, 7 per turn. Yeah, that looks good. It would be nice to have a friendship with Cyrus. Uh, we are building up an army because Coupe is uh, much stronger than us and is our first neighbor. So I must be prepared for an early war. And if I'm not prepared for an early, uh, an early war, I will trigger it. So just saying. So everybody is aware of what is going to happen. Xihan starts going to uh, this city, to the capital of... Um, no, this is not the capital, but the second city of, of Coupe. All right, and here we like to settle, but yeah, I want to settle here, and I will have to take care of pirates already, so you need to be careful. Good, much better. Uh, let's do this. Good. Okay, now let's chop this forest. I am going to be the horseman here. If you remember in the first episode, we have already unlocked the card, so. Very good. Changsha. So if Beijing, if Beijing can do another horseman. And now we can start bringing the army down. I'm not going to declare war right now, but I want, I want to um, actually prepare the war uh, with uh, the nouns, okay? And I want to send some delegate. Oh no, come on. Make a deal. Alright, I will I will give them I will give them some gifts as soon as possible. I need more horses here. What should I do in Changsha? Uh, probably I need to expand my territory. I need to explore also. Let's be the galley. And here after the horsemen. Yeah, I mean, let, let's focus on war for a while. Let's have a lot of archers and horsemen and then let's see what happens. Okay, fine. Fantastic. Uh, you get the iron. Archers and horsemen, this is the way we go now. In three turns we have another one. And we can declare war in five turns, but or four, but I'm not 100% sure if I want to. Opla! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Yes, let them let them come. They want to probably settle. Well, they have to settle here, which is also uh, totally fine. But the question is, why are they moving the colonists in this area? I think I think the colonists will uh, will uh, go back. But I need to, I, I really need to put an eye on him. So I will move my cavalry here because if I'm able to kill this um, warrior and steal the settler, I will definitely declare war on uh, Coupe. I don't care. But I think I need to be careful because I think I need to be careful. Because at the moment he's stronger than me. Can I go to Philip and do also... A delegation and a deal. The delegation was not accepted. The deal is accepted. Fine. So I can now tell this little guy, please automatically explore. Next. Ah, that's exactly what I meant. We have some barbarians. Okay, the guy went back. The, the guy went back. Let's, get, let's grab more uh, iron. And as soon as I have 20 horses, I buy another horseman. So we'll have three horsemen and one, two, three, four, 
probably five uh, archers. So we are going to engineering. Beijing is building uh, uh, the ancient walls first because I need them. Second because uh, yeah because because they're good because they are good. All right, still another three turns and no man, no way man. Coupe has just uh, used probably. Okay, Coupe just drafted the army of Banda Brunei. Man, really. Look how many uh, look how many warriors he has. Oh, we are lucky. Oh, we are lucky then. Meteor, meteorite. Uh, yes, sure. Let's go here. We are gonna gra uh, we are gonna win probably one uh, unit. Usually it's an heavy chariot, but let's see. And another thing that I want to do, I want to. Um, improve my units into swordsmen in particular i might uh, build now a warrior and then use the gold to uh, give him a level up all right the the guy is here when can i declare when can i declare war formal i could do it already now i mean i mean that's that's really tempting isn't it Let's me, let me give let me give this. Let me give honey as a gift. Okay, completed archer. Archer completed. Wonderful. Shihan can now work on the warrior, as we said. And here, let's stop. Here, let's stop. Mm, you should heal. I mean, this guy should take care of the galley. That time by time is going there. Joint war against Coupe. Um, they would offer 8 gold per turn if we join this war and they are going to ask for uh, horses. No way, this is not going to happen, but I could give you some uh, iron uh, because they're giving me gold per turn. Huh? So... What? No way! Wait! Why should I pay you to join a war? Okay, I'm very confused. Aha! He wants to... Uh, come on, Cooper, don't do that. He wants to declare war on Cooper with me. So that was... Okay, I, oh my god, I hate Cooper when he does this face. Let, let's check if I get a free military unit. As I said, a navy chariot. Let's go back. And now we have enough um, resources and money to get another horseman so now we have three of them uh, so we can strike I think we can do it now let's let's see if let, let's see if Philip will seven per turn 14 gold yeah at the end of the day if I prom promise uh, Philip uh, some some gold I think that he will declare war but I I don't need it Honestly, I, I do not need this. Where's the... Where's the... Settler, by the way? I don't know. Two turns. Two turns. Okay, good, very well done. Let's go for a monument here. Uh, you stay where you are. You stay where you are. You too. I'm afraid that Cooper will probably understand what's going on. And ask me to declare a war now. Because I am so close to his borders. Okay, medieval era. Finally, we are not anymore in this uh, horrible um, dark age. The agoge is no longer necessary. I take the conscription. And let me check uh, the ancient. Yeah, production for horses is not also not necessary. But um, let's take, let's go for an Ilkum because I want to build some builders. The Strategos, I have to to keep it, but I have to check it because oh man, come on, we are we are there in nineteen turns, but 
yeah, we'll be able to get Boudica in 19 turns. We have no fate whatsoever. We could use some gold. I, I am not 100% sure, but let's see. We kill the pirates, by the way. So, let's see if now uh, Philip uh, is uh, open for a war. Let's make a deal. You see? <laughs> it's accepting it without any um, kind of payment. I accept the deal. So, yeah, let's declare um, a formal war. Philip will declare war also to Coupe. And what we are going to do uh, is the following. Oh, come on. I thought I, I thought that I could attack right away the city of Capiti, but I probably didn't consider all the all the possible scenarios, right? No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, what are, we, what are we doing? Free inquiry. All right, Coupe has drafted the army of Bandar Brunei, but Philip has, uh, is stronger than him, by the way, so maybe he can bring some units to the north. Let's see. Oh, here by the, uh, here they have already some walls. I, I need to, I need to attack and I need to be fast. Producing or purchasing military units. Okay, producing or purchasing military units costs less. Let's use production for military units. This is actually bad because if Cooper is winning, it will generate uh, more grievances and also generate. Uh, it will make. Let's, let's do another thing. The chosen player generates less grievances and I vote for myself giving as much as I can. That's not so much, but let's see if Coupe is able to play smart. Nope, uh, uh, but Philip will generate more grievances, okay. And by the way, we can build now units which are cheaper. And I'm very happy about this. And I forgot to swap from engineering. I would have... Ah, come on. I would have had it uh, for free almost. Shit. Really. All right. All right. I think we are going to take a pity very easily. Uh, Xi'an can uh, uh, begin a route to Auckland. So now we are also scissoring Auckland. Wonderful. Now we do a monument here. Next turn. Nope, not yet. Huh? Oh, we discover Samarkand. Samarkand, um, poo. Builders can now make trading dome improvements. Plus two gold, plus one gold for every additional luxury resource. Not bad. Uh, it would be great for a Petra city, for example. Okay, there is another proposal. Request aid and religious emergency. We don't. We don't care about this. All right, so let's now start taking this one. Not sure if I can uh, do more than this. Okay, wonderful. This is done. Xi'an um, that was about to build a, a warrior now has a swordman. Okay. This this uh, this road is a blessing. The road going to Garuvaya will be really good for us. So, not bad. Yes, let's keep this city. 
Let's keep this city and Beijing, by the way, should now uh, build a settler. Uh, I need I need to change my cards again so we can settle here up. And I want to check. No, please, come on. This is bad. There is a settler. Oh man, I shit. They're gonna steal my. Uh, come on, I need to bring my uh, my horses uh, north. But will I make it in time? Oh come on, I hate this. I really hate this. I mean, it is minus two. Wonderful. Okay, let me have an aqueduct here. Then we'll have here. Um, industrial zone. And what are we doing in Capiti? A monument, obviously. So, um, as soon as we reach machinery, we will be able to probably uh, give a promotion to a one, one cross bowman, but a one cross bowman won't be able to kill this city. I need uh, siege weapons. Or I can just decide and st to, to stop my attack. That's also something possible. I could also do that here, of course. I think that maybe it's easier if I just move my cavalry up north. So they can found a city on this side or on this side. Probably I would, I would settle down here. So um, they will settle down in the next turn. I will be able to attack with my uh, galley together with my... Wow, that's super rich. Together with my cavalry. If they settle, but I think they will do that. I think that they will do it. Okay. Five turns. All right. Okay. No, it's not here. It is here. They didn't settle down yet. Maybe they're afraid. Ah, oh, no, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't uh, move to the new turn yet. That's why. No, but I keep moving. Which is good for me. Which is really good for me if they keep moving. Look, so many promotions are possible. Oh, come on, get out of here. They move back again. Oh, shit. They move back again. Uh, it seems that this uh, settler doesn't really know where he wants to go. That will teach him very soon. <laughs> I will teach him very soon where he wants to go. Because he wants to settle down a Chinese city. I tell you. I tell you. That's what he wants, he wants to do. That's what he wants to do. The problem is that yes, I'm doing. I'm using the settler in Beijing. I'm going to swap this. Um, I I will go for uh, catapults. I will build two, one or two catapults, and then try to attack the the other city there, down there. I'm extremely confused here. I'm extremely confused. I don't know what they are doing. I don't know what they are trying to do. But to be honest, I don't care because I can try to kill.
No, 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 apprenticeship. So if a monument is completed, let's get now a, um, a builder. Seems that this is my lucky day. It seems that this is my lucky day, really. I thought that I was, <laughs> I thought that I would have to conquer a city before they build walls, but instead I had just to, to steal a settler, and that's enough. Good. Can I purchase sugar and cocoa? Why not? Wonderful. Okay, so we are settling down here and you keep exploring, you go back as fast as possible to the front line. And bam. So now the army of Coupe is weighted to 195 points. Our army is stronger. And he has also... He's also sharing... Um, it's also in war against Philip. Next turn. No, we lost an archer. Man. Who's the strongest archer here? Yeah, I don't know. Now we have a crossbowman. If I had enough money, I would have a lot of crossbowmen now. And we uh, settled Xinjiang, and we can settle another city here close to the Vulcan, and that's gonna be it for a while. So Xinjiang uh, will start again also with a monument. Uh, let's let's out explore. Oh, wonderful! Finally, I can def uh, I can uh, declare a friendship with this man, meaning that now I'm going to sell also some some stuff to get more money. Because I'm not going to bid more units now, at least. Uh, that's great. No, 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 no. Let's, let's stick, let's stick to this. That way we are getting a lot of money and we have a friend and we have an ally, so we should not be worried, right? One turn and the catapult will be ready. Okay. I mean, that's it for me. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Um, it seems that Cyrus is also uh, in war against my friend there. So let's change uh, maneuver. And I'm going to pick Loyal uh, Limitani. The Ilkum at the moment is absolutely useless. I'm going for colonization. The Strategos probably is also useless, but I keep it until I don't grab my. Nope! There is, we, we have another one. Now it will take us 37 turns without a real shit. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, new civic. Let's go for the military training and def no, defensive tactics is better. Now Beijing can go back to the settler and we will have it only in eight turns, which is much better. And here I will go for a campus. Can I buy a tile in Taiwan? Yes, I can. Let's do that. And let's give her a, a title, Connoisseur. Yes, we are going to boost our research. 
from 15 basically to 23. Let me see who is winning. Uh, let me see because uh, probably we can really do our best. But it's not going to be uh, so simple. You know? So I'm not going to attack. I'm not going to be ultra aggressive against this city unless uh, this catapult is doing the job for me. But my catapult is also coming soon. We need to be fast. Alright, I think that now we can move to the next turn. Let's see. Yes, as I... <laughs> as I was expecting, um, one unit went out and now they're attacking my archers. And I think... I mean, I'm, I'm not happy about that. It's going to be a big defeat if I do that. Let me see if I can target... The crossbowman can target um, this guy here. Just to make it weaker. Yes, he can. I have to get back and then... Yes, that's better. All right. Now we are sieging Garuvaya. Or whatever it's, uh, it's pronounced. We are sieging the city. Hmm... Who is going to, to grab it? Well, probably the fastest. There is no real... The deal is simple. Alright, so... Okay, now the defenses are really, really little. And we are on the first line. If I move here my... my uh, Cavalry, now I'm sieging everybody and the melee unit of our ally are far away. So he wouldn't be able to take this city, but he can still target the city, if you know what I mean. So we are actually very lucky now. We still also work her. Right. And we try to go here, yes. Okay, here we have some cavalry that can join the front, even if it will take some time. Probably they will. We won't. They won't manage. And now in Shihan, we in two turns we are going to pr produce the um, uh, the quarter. But then I will. I will use uh, just a worker at the moment. Okay, let's play our last turn, please. Let's see if we are good. Also, Philip now is uh, uh, bringing some some troops. And now we have a new card, so the new card is the Insulem, plus one housing in all cities with at least two special districts. That's too early for us. It's way too early. Um, and now we have to see if we can take the city. That's why, it's, I, that's why I say that's the last one, because where do we get it now or we don't get this city? We do our best. Of course, but it is as it is. So, well done. We 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 got it. We got it, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. Wonderful. So, the situation is now the following: we managed to take Kapiti Garuvaiha, and we stole a settler, which, in the sum of the war, it's like three cities. I think that that's enough for me. I would definitely end the conflict now. Um, my friends, allies, neighbors, they can do whatever they want. They would like to make peace. All right, they don't want to do peace. So, well, 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 well. I keep this city. This guy is way too strong. I'm going to give him uh, like 20 as a gift. And then another 20 as a gift. I want I want a friendship relation uh, with him. They're very strong. I mean, uh, this is an army uh, that we weight 528. And this guy has an army which is weighted 993. I mean, he's a monster or what? We'll see it in the next episode. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you like this video, please consider leaving a thumbs up. And especially, very important, also comment. Um, 
Give me your opinions. Tell me what you think about this gameplay. The turn is the 105. We have a bunch of cities. Um, our cities are not so developed, though, because we spent a lot of time in war. But we are going to swap to the Ilkum and probably build a bunch of um, workers and increase our tiles and then start uh, flourishing. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching and see you next time.